I made it through somehow. I paused you. And my fingers were so cold I couldn't feel them. And uh, there aren't any hot babes right around close to warm me up, but I know where they are. I'm always good at finding them. I have this hand warmer thing. I'm gonna slip my fingers into. Oh, I see what I did. Okay. All right. Wait 18 seconds to see this video. So far, you've just seen trees and stuff. <sighs> Giovanni, Giovanni knows. This is the place where the wildness goes. Look at that, see, there's chunks of glacier that have washed up here. This lake was created maybe a day or two ago by a underground glacier structure. See this, these pathways here through the grass? That's a glacier runoff. And uh, I feel like my, my pistol's slipping, so I'm gonna take a pause here for and make sure, because you don't wanna lose your pistol out here, I'll tell you that, I lost mine last year. Had to get a metal detector to find it. Oh, okay, I'm back, yeah. Yeah. Ugh. Those damn poison dart trees, they missed me, but they hit the buckle on my belt and sheared it right off. Luckily, I did not get infected, so I'm not gonna fall asleep out here like Rip Van Winkle did. If y'all don't know, that's what happened to him. He was wandering through Iowa, wandering into a grove of poison dart trees, got nailed. Probably a dozen times fell asleep for a hundred years. Most all the stories, all the, all the fables and all the old stories originate here in Iowa. Yeah, yeah. You know, that's just how it is. Everything starts here in Iowa. And everything always begins here. Starting and begin. And, it, and there's never an end. So get in line, get behind. Because I was always out front. We're out front, we're out front, we're all the way. Look at that. Over there, that's the Canadian border on the other side. We're in the very northern part of Iowa here. And my fingers are starting to get cold. Luckily, I brought my candy thermometer so I can find my way back to the truck. I just wanted, before I started fishing, I wanted to have a few beers in the woods because traditionally, before we start fishing, we have a few beers in the woods. Did you hear that? They're shooting again. Got take cover, take cover. Probably some liberals. Every time, every time it goes down, it's liberals behind that shit. They're quick to get their guns up, but they want to take ours away. I'll do all the shootings in the gun-free zone. Hey, think about it. Nobody's shooting back. All right. We're getting Jesus. I just want to show you folks a poison dart tree here. It's lost its leaves. They get close enough so you can see all the spikes on it. Can you? And get that in there. This is nothing but just, it's just horrible. Let's see, it's spiky. Let's see if I get a good one in here for you. Uh, 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 uh. Close enough you can see it. Yeah, that didn't catch windy out here. Fuck, pardon me, that's hell. What is goddamn hell? Yeah, fuck, fuck. Hold still, well, yeah, I'm trying to show these folks how spiky you guys are. Look at that, see that? Yeah, that will rip you to shreds in a heartbeat. That's just like that. You won't even feel it, they're so sharp. You'll look down, you'll have to say, oh, not even, not even there. Somebody got me with a Mexican credit card. Yeah, and hold your guts in, because they're taking your money. Bam. Oh, 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 oh. There's some evidence right there. That, uh, that is the work of probably uh, a high school superintendent. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. Uh, they chew a lot of wood up here. Apparently, that's all they got to do. Chew a lot of wood. Because uh, they're way out of hand, way out of line. Don't understand or know what time it is. Somebody's going to have to school them. It's probably going to be Giovanni. He's written a letter. And he's gonna send it off. It's gonna cause a lot of uproar, but Giovanni's a controversial figure sometimes. Well, actually, most of the time, I've been asked to leave a lot of establishments. I've been kicked out, thrown out, booted out, put out, and I've been down before. But not like this. We made it back. I think I'm close. My candy thermometer is showing that the temperature is almost perfect. 
which will mean that the truck is close by. I keep uh, the double boiler plugged into my cigarette lighter. I don't smoke cigarettes, but I do like to make candy when I'm out in the woods. And uh, my candy thermometer can sense that from up to maybe a half a dozen miles or so. That'd be six in my book. Yeah, look! The hunting buddy, we're here! We're here, boys! We're here, it's getting better. But, uh, okay, okay. Are you with me again? My fingers got cold. Just takes a little bit of time out there, and your fingers will get cold. Mm, they're actually really cold. Uh, I'm gonna stick them in my double boiler here, and get some hot chocolate on them, and that'll warm me right up. It's a little warm. It's kind of like fondue fingers, you know what I mean? You remember fondue pots, don't you? It was cheese and bread, cheese and bread, cheese and bread. Well, I think fingers and chocolate, fingers and chocolate, fingers and chocolate. Hey, hey, hey. It's all about being innovative. And if we are anything, we are innovative here in Iowa. Being a dense jungle, we always have to come up with new solutions on getting places. And uh, since we have no infrastructure, uh, We're all cool with it. Uh, we've got dirt roads, basically 99.9% .9 of the roads in our dirt. And uh, most places don't have telephones, uh, uh, but you can be sure they have an outhouse. If you don't know what an outhouse is, then uh, well, you're gonna be in trouble if you come to Iowa because you're just gonna be wondering what to do next. So I suggest don't drink the water and, and plan ahead. I uh, always have a plan. My plan always is to return home safely, and if I'm going to a foreign country, I learn the language, and I, I learn how to say several things. Most importantly, I need another beer, where's the bathroom, and uh, what about the babes, and so forth. But, uh, and that's just polite. That's polite. You, you, whatever country you're in, you should speak their language. Uh, United States of America, being an English-speaking Christian nation, British is taller, of course, uh, is a great, great country, and uh, I appreciate all the visitors, uh, and I appreciate all the immigrants and immigrants, and, uh, uh, but I'm like my ancestors, which were hardcore, hardworking German people, and uh, they learned English language, because English is the language of the United States. You don't have to be a Christian. You don't have to be anything. We're religious tolerant. But our nation was formed by a bunch of white, Christian, and agnostic men. And uh, this is what we got. And they said, hey, man, mm, we don't want to be all fuddy-duddy. Let's mix it up a little bit. It's always more fun, because what about those babes? They're, you know, you never know, right? That's what I'm thinking, you know. Uh, check out uh, Benjamin Franklin, man. He was a way big partier. He was into it, man. He was... Mm -hmm. Yeah, the juice, you know. <clears throat> yeah, they show him with bald head and everything. But, yeah, you know, he was having the maximum groovy deals at his house. All the babes were coming over and, and uh, partying. And, you know, since he didn't have swimming suits, it was skinny dipping. That's, that's it. So he was thinking way ahead. Because we're just now getting back to that. Well, when I was you, well, well, that's what we did. We said, hey, hey you want to go swimming? Well... They didn't bring their swimming suit. Don't worry, you don't need a swimming suit. Well, I'll get close. Well, don't worry, I'll turn my back. And forth. And there you have it. Nice tits, babe. Oh, pardon my language. I didn't say that. I, I appreciate, I just appreciate, I'm very appreciative. Nice, very nice. Good form, good form. And, and, ew, that was a terrible belly flop, but, uh, mm, we can put a tattoo over that red spot there. Okay. Here we go. And uh, I'm just having a groovy day. I'm almost out of hand, but I, like I said, it's cold as hell. And Jesus and Louise is. Yeah. Get a little more hot chocolate on my fingers. Mm. Anyway. My stereo was shot out by a terrorist the other day. I was, I was driving through the woods, and I, I, I didn't even see the bullet come through, man. It came from a grassy knoll, I'm pretty sure. But I had passed a book depository earlier. Uh, and But I think it came from the grass. You know, there was two shots. I, I remember. Two shots. Bam, bam, bam. But I don't know where the first one went. Uh, I 
did lose part of an ear, but that was a long time ago. That was, I think Grandma did that. A nice throw in the carnival, you know. But uh, hit my stereo. It was a 223 from what I could see of, of the remnants. They're just small little bolt fragments, but I took them back to my laboratory and analyzed them. It's 223 caliber, and uh, yeah, probably shot through something like uh, a Mac 710 which is, is the elite form of a short, close sniper rifle. That's for working within 10 to 15 feet. And uh, I, like I said, grassy knoll, I had kind of, was kind of driving on the side of it. I heard somebody say, hey, get off my grassy knoll, I'm gonna shoot that. I said, hey, your grassy knoll, bam, and my stereo went. Yeah, I don't hold the grass just forever. Yeah, that's just how it is, like an elephant, you just gotta, gotta Roll on, baby, roll on. Uh, but my mind is on the blank and getting old ain't for sissies. But I'm saying I'm not old. Exercise every day, eat right, and eat a lot of. Well, we just appreciate that, don't we? Okay, now. Mm -mm. Damn, 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 bam, bam.